Hello and welcome to Michigan. It is Legacy Michigan and it is Arca here tonight on Monday night, although it is not the first time slot of the week. Um, had uh, went out to dinner for my mom's birthday today and uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, got back here at about 11.48 is the time right now. Going out to do some Arca racing. So, a little uh, lower strength of field than what uh, I'm kind of used to Mondays. 1.8k strength of field, but hopefully still a fun race ahead. We've also got Rob in here. Good luck to him, as uh, I did send him a message saying so. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Usually Michigan's a pretty decent track here uh, with the Arca combo. And uh, I gotta get used to shifting with uh, having to, to blip the throttle myself. Thank you to uh, Mr. Thomas Lewandowski. He left a comment on one of my videos reminding me that's why I am not so great on the restarts. And uh, <laughs> I, I briefly mentioned this before, but in the couple of races I've done so far where I've started using it again, I'm like, man, why did I wait so long? <laughs> Why did I wait so long to uh, start doing all that? Because it really does make a huge difference. Interestingly, we got some cloud cover all of a sudden. That can help us get a little bit of grip. I also switched from direct sound to X Audio 2 or whatever. Um, apparently the sound is better if you use that, and uh, I, I didn't realize that wasn't on by default. I was just kind of going through my settings since I was already changing some stuff. And uh, hopefully the sounds sound a little bit better. I think I might have to adjust some of the levels of the audio because I think it switches things around. Like, for example, I don't hear my spotter right now, which is not ideal. So probably going to want to do something with that. I can imagine with the way that... Ooh! Ooh! Got loose. First lap's going to be the fast lap, I guess. I can imagine um, with the way that the cloud came in right there, I think uh, people that know about that probably would have waited a second. Because every session the clouds move the same way, in case you didn't know that. And so if guys know that there's going to be cloud cover, they might wait a second to do their lap. And I could see a guy like the number one knowing that and doing so. So I could ex definitely expect to fall back, unless the one plans to start at the rear or something. The one I know I've finished behind at with this combo before. He's really good here, I'm pretty sure. Um, one of those tracks where if you can be fast and uh, get on that right rear pretty good, then uh, you're you're in really good shape. And uh, in the past, I know he's been able to do that, pull away and just never really fall off. So we'll see if we can get that done. I think you really kind of want to use the seam down here. Keep some throttle in it, but not too much, so you're not getting on the right front. I think that's the plan. We'll see how well I can execute that plan. But uh, qualifying looking pretty good here. I could definitely see ending up P2, though. Like I said, if uh, that other guy chooses to qualify. And Rob in uh, P2 right now. Very nice qualifying run for him. He's the number three. A lot of names I don't recognize, though. Yeah, there's that one, <laughs> like, I, like I predicted. Uh, not really surprised there. So I get to most likely start in my favorite starting position, B2. Oh boy. Hopefully we get a good jump, but hey, the uh, the shifting should help out with that. Just gotta get used to blipping the throttle. I've, I've gotten so used to just keeping my foot in it that I've got to get into the habit. And that's part of the reason I was putting it off. Because I'm worried I'm going to miss a shift and wreck somebody while I'm still getting used to how this works. And, uh, so far, haven't done it. I did do a race off camera at one point, and I had a, a little bit of trouble getting uh, getting it shifted at one juncture, but the guy behind didn't slam into the back of me, and I was very appreciative of that, because it kind of would have been on me if I'm failing to shift my vehicle. But the biggest thing is i got to remember to do it get into the habit but huge difference it makes on the restarts and everything so I'm happy I decided to finally go and do that 
So I'm going to see if I can fix my spotter. Surround sound. I don't think I have the right stuff for that. Spotter. Is this what's going to help that go up? System default, system comms default. I don't know. That's the end of the session. P2. You've got plenty of fuel. I made my spotter a little louder. Hopefully the audio is not bad on this or anything. I don't think it makes too drastic of a difference going from the different audios, but I know it can make things sound a little bit different. So I'm just uh, hopefully not missing anything. Let's oh yeah, race is team. Like, I don't have to go to, like, these, do I? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much right now. If the spotter's kind of quiet, this race, that's fine. They got the subtitles so we can read. And uh, we can use our eyeballs. <laughs> too, and uh, look around and know whenever there's somebody to our inside or outside. So, yeah, I'm not hearing my my spotter. That kind of stinks. At least we don't have to hear him lie about the strength of field, which is actually 1.8k. Reminder there. I've got my crew chief spotter, which is fine. Oh, we're rolling. Everybody grid it up real quick. Stay behind the pace car in the outside column. What gear are we going to be starting with? It looks like a second gear start, probably. Don't want to battle the one too much early on. Going to be uh, a race where we want to be nice to the right front. And uh, maybe we'll learn something watching the Taco Bell car. The number one Taco Bell... I don't know. Chevy? I didn't see. Chevy by default, but sometimes people put their custom manufacturer logo on there. I've seen people drive Teslas. I've seen people drive uh, Hondas, I think. Put that on the hood. <laughs> and stuff. I just got the... I, I don't even have a trading paints paint on this thing. It's just the iRacing paint. Because I do that thing where I make everything purple now. Because grapes. I don't know. Got some purple on that car on the inside. I'm going to need to be watching as well. Hopefully get ourselves a good launch. It's kind of speeding up and slowing down little bit unless that's just me okay, all right Stay launching from second gear green, green, green. get that shifted that felt like a pretty good shift all right all is good nice good start Careful it doesn't break loose on us. Clean one and two. Good stuff. All right. Now for being nice to right front. Draft not really much of a thing in the Arca car. Barely any difference on speed. So I'm not going to worry too much about following him. Just going to worry about the line I'm running. And uh, hopefully doing it well. Interesting. He's let, letting off pretty darn good in one. I imagine he's only going to go as fast as he feels he needs to. Get on that seam, get on the right rear. Rob, half a second behind us. P2, the leader has just done a 41.6, and the guy behind has just done a 41.4. Get on that seam as long as possible. Alright. One, two, three. All cars number one through three. Right now, we're going to try to pull the upset and beat the number one car. See what we can do. 
getting loose on the scene, but that's exactly what I'm wanting. Rob getting a little bit closer. Huge gap behind him, interestingly. It looks like those two guys might be side by side, potentially. That could be why we're seeing that. One getting pretty sideways, getting it yawed out. I, uh, exactly what he's hoping. Like I said, not going to bother with the snaking draft. Very little effect in this car. So far so good. The handling feels fine, but that's only four laps. So, long way to go. kind of fading out to the wall a little bit more. Maybe keeping the wheel straighter. I feel like I'm doing okay with my uh, wheel input though. Not too bad. It's a little bit of a bobble maybe. Is that going to be enough for us to get a run on him? be worth it to try to get around him early while we still have tire grip. I don't want to fight side by side too often, but I'd much rather be on the inside if we're going to. This could be our chance. Make him use up some uh, tire. It could pay off. Got carnage up ahead. Something's happened. No voice chats about it, but clearly somebody's had some issues. Couple people. Good consistency. Keep it coming. He's gonna do the alley oop on us. Come to the inside. Crossover. A little bit of side draft he's employing there. I'm not gonna fight too hard on this outside. We're actually just gonna lift off and file in. We were able to make him use a little bit more tire, though, on that outside, and that could pay off for us. All about longevity. I uh, spotter in sign language signs out that the next car is the leader. That'd be kind of cool if they had little like icons for people that need them. That doesn't make any sense. They can just read the words. I'm an idiot. You can't expect me to use my brain and drive at the same time. That's just too much. Still a big gap between third and fourth. We're still on the tail of the one car. On that seam, get it turning. Right out to the wall, keep the steering wheel straight. He's going all the way down to the apron. Shortest way around because the front stretch is curved. Didn't quite get on the seam as much as I would have liked there. Kind of kept above it a little bit too much. We'll use the seam a little there. And we are a third of the way through this race. That's ten laps completed. 
Rob still hanging on a s half second behind. One car still right there in front of us. Rob may be falling back a little bit, hard to say, kind of been gaining and losing back and forth a little. wonder if a little bit of break on entry into 1 might be useful because 1 and 2 is definitely tighter than 3 and 4. I'm feeling it get on the right front a little bit more through there, for whatever reason. I wonder if you want to use a tiny bit of brake drag there. Maybe that's what the one car is doing, because I'm seeing a little bit of a slowdown. Kind of when we get into the corner, and it kind of looks like I drive in harder, and I'm wondering if maybe that's because he's using the brakes just a tiny bit to get it rotated. I could definitely see that. That was not a great attempt there. Kind of experimented. Not really what I was looking for. I think I have to do a wider entry if I'm going to try the brake thing. We're still real close though. Only two tenths behind them. Maybe I'm overthinking it, because he's pulling away a little bit here. Lap car, is are they going to be on the racing line? Uh, I guess they're okay. I kind of went a little higher because I was a little bit afraid. That hurts us a little bit, because we didn't get down to the seam like I wanted, but... Slight, barely difference. The cat is opening the closet where his cat food is. Using his opposable thumbs that apparently he has to do so. I don't know what sort of cat magic he's up to, but he knows how to open the closet door. I don't know, maybe he's just got better tires at this point. We're slower through one and two. That's what it's looking like. Maybe there is something to that wider entry he's doing. The car feels fine, though, which is the a bit of the disappointing part. I feel like I've done a decent job so far as we're getting to halfway through the race. And yet he's pulled out a couple tenths. Yeah, that really didn't work there. I mean, that might have been good on the right front, but look how much space we lost. Don't know, man. It's gonna be really hard to get past this guy. I knew that from the start. I've finished behind him at this exact combo before. That's why I knew it was gonna be a tough challenge, and why I was gonna want to kind of look at what he was up to. Got cars coming out of pit road. Interesting. It's, it's really tight on the entry of one and two now. You know, the entry of one. Entry of one and two doesn't really make much sense. Catching that guy at the exact same spot again. He did a good job holding it down low, though, the last time. Car inside. My spotter says quietly. What I gotta do? Good 
He was like, deja vu. I just, I know this has happened before. The same exact guy pulling away from me at Michigan. I, I bet if I went and, through, and looked through my past races, I'd find something that looks very similar to this. Just can never quite figure it out. We do have a car on fresher tires behind us coming up. I hope he doesn't try to pass us for no reason. Be a little frustrating. He really has nothing to race for, and we're trying to uh, race for the win. Well, we had a decent lap there. And you know we still got 11 to go. There could be tire fall off at the end here waiting. Cup times are pretty consistent. Still looking like he's got the advantage though. He just has inched away just a tiny bit. But that's all it's going to take. Kind of pushed it a little bit there. Probably got on my right front a little bit too much. Heck, I wish draft was a stronger thing here, because the 15 would be helping me. Seems like he's content hanging back there, and I really appreciate him for that. Did the one get tight there? He looked like he almost went up and got the wall. Is there hope for us yet? Is his tire, his right front tire, hurting? It's actually looking a little bit loose right there. Uh huh. Very interesting. He's down to point three. We gained a tenth on him. That seam. I still feel like he's maybe better in one and two, though. Yeah, I kind of liked how that felt. I did use a little bit of brake on the entry there. Got it rotated a little bit for the exit. Didn't really gain anything on him, but it was faster than last lap. Just a little wide. I'm doing everything I can, man. I'm trying. But I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to pass him or anything. Even if I did get to him. We're very evenly matched. I used the seam there. Got rotation, but it wasn't very fast. He's going to the outside of us for some reason. Gonna go, gotta go. He's plenty faster, so. Lost a little bit of time, but not much. The lap time was at 42.3. Alright, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Had a pretty good run through one and two there, compared to last lap. Oh. 
It's getting in the way of the leader. <laughs> that helps us catch up quite a bit. Killed his run out of four. Really wish this guy was not involving himself in our battle. I'm going to four to go. Definitely tighter on entry. 15 going to the inside of him. One's giving him plenty of room. Not sure what to expect. It's going to hurt his corner. Gain a little, but it's only because of the lap car. Maybe not sustainable. Two crosses. That lap was at forty-two point four. Pretty good run there for one and two. That was pretty good. That was almost a tenth faster than the last lap. Guy, how is that guy getting into the wall on the straightaway in front of the leaders up there? That's confusing. Pushing a little bit harder. I need to make up some ground. Might as well use the tires up. They're going right into the dumpster after this race, so we don't need to save them for anything else. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. I don't know how I did that last lap. So there's that tenth that I gained. I guess maybe I just pushed it a little harder and then now the tires are paying for it. He's got it one now. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Lap times are pretty consistent. But I'm pretty low, see if we can do anything. Lap car is being unpredictable in front of the leader. Going from the wall all the way down low. Now he chooses to get out of the way. Just uh, further illustrating the, re the pointlessness of everything he did. But uh, no one's wrecked, so no harm done. Hopefully he had some fun, I guess. And uh, I had some fun too, but we don't quite get the win. Good win, man. Good race. Still got to work on my long run here. Podium finish. Nice one. Excellent, Ben. Good win to him. He got it done. He did everything he needed to do. Kept the tires happy, I imagine. He had the better long run. But we still get P2. Fun race, people. Fun race. Thank you. Good night. You know what? The X audio, I can hear people talking much easier. It sounds much clearer. I was going to race him. So I'm liking the new audio. Definitely want to keep that, just got to figure out why I can't hear my spotter. Sneaky shit, your tires. 61, 74. Probably not good, but I tried. Hey, Angelo, they don't the Hey, what's up? So we were harder on both tires. I think it helped us in comparison to Rob to be more hey, on the hey, right please. rear. They don't the airs. Um, Chili. Rob says he needs to push more. Yeah, I think if you can get on, uh, get on the right rear a little bit, you can carry some more speed, and even having yeah, better even tires can tire help out. Really fun 
because uh, it's all about having tires that are even. Even though like I had a worse right front, having uh, a right rear that's more balanced on the right side, that'll help out a lot more. I'm sure he knows that, but just <laughs> stating it. So I, I probably need to uh, improve that myself. I'm sure other guy Ben probably was better on his right front, if I had to guess, and probably had a similar right rear. Maybe even a more worn right rear, to be honest, because I saw how sideways he was at times. Maybe that's the big difference. Um, him being able to get it sideways and still carry some speed while yawing the car out, that could be exactly uh, what I need to do. Easier on those entries, get on the right rear even more, yaw it out, and get the tires more even. Easier said than done. Here we are, lap three in the incidents. The 11 finding the wall a little bit. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Seeing something already in progress. Battling for 19th. 22 heading into the corner. Pretty hot. And then getting loose and nearly coming down into the 15. Oh, no. And then the 15 gets caught. And this is the wreck we saw, I think, because we did see some sort of wreck early on. Unfortunately, the uh, all-chrome guy <laughs> gets uh, himself in a wreck and takes the 15 with him. Oh my goodness. So now he's doing the thing where you slide and now your tires are hot. And so when you try to gas it up, no grip. I think we all learned that lesson at least once. Atchalak finding the wall. Seven trying to high line. No grip up there, though, especially on Legacy Michigan. I don't think you have much grip in either of the Michigans, though, up there. Seems like every time you get up there, it's just if four tire slides right into the wall. I think you're going to see it again here, too, for the 16. It'd be fun if the higher line had anything to it, but it never seems to work for me. So I'm getting a little tight on the exit of two. And, and, and by contrast, Reese is in front of him getting loose. 16 going to get the wall, is the 9 going to be able to avoid him? Looks like he saw it coming, that's good defensive driving, able to get around him. That's how you keep that safety rating up, see what's going on around you and reacting before it even happens. That's well done by him. Aflac, not a big fan of turn 2 in this one. We got Hershey's getting to the wall, I wonder if we're seeing a bunch of candy schemes getting closer to Halloween. <laughs> Still no grip up there. Seven's entering pretty hard. I think it's just his tires wearing out though. I think we probably got some guys getting down to even about 50% on that right front. Maybe showing up in the incidents as a result. Hefty hit for the Chrome 22. Tight on exit here perhaps. Nope, just old tires showing up. Anything else to see? I don't think so. I think we're going to see some more guys on that right front a little bit too much. But maybe no more wrecks, because that was uh, the last lap right there. And uh, Chrome Driver's going to just take uh, his car, crunch it up one last time. Man, look at the graphics on that. Holy cow. Is that 4K? <laughs> Let me take a look at that. Dang. It's like I'm there. <laughs> you know what? This is Legacy Michigan, so I can't hate on them too much. It was a different time. Man, I, I feel like I can see the caterpillar on that branch. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's see the race results page and call this one a P2. Call it a success. I'm happy with P2, especially as the two car. We'll see uh, what we bring away from this race. Going to stay at a 499 as we had a 0x. 12 I rating gained. Thumbs up there. I'm happy with that. Get ourselves a P2 and a 107 championship points. Rob got the fastest lap. Well done to him. Probably got a... You know, that's really interesting, actually, because he said he needed to push more. And he did have better tires, and yet he got the fastest lap. What lap did he do that? 
Fast lap, lap two. Interesting. It's like he was uh, driving hard early, and then he backed off a lot, trying to save tires, and then maybe backed off a little bit too much. Maybe just going too soft on exit, maybe, while he could get on the right rear. That's just uh, the evidence here contrasting with what we saw with the tire readout. That's kind of interesting. Huh. Well, good race to him, though. Uh, he gets a P3, very solid finish. And uh, you can see the rest of the results right here. So... Always a pretty fun combo, Michigan, Legacy Michigan, or Modern Michigan in the ARCA car. Two mile tracks are always a pretty good time, and uh, we get a res good result here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, followed, uh, followed along here as we tried to learn something about how to uh, be good in the long run. Like I said, I think it's maybe a little softer on the entries. Maybe uh, even yawing it out a little bit more than I already was. Tough to say, and uh, it's all about execution. So that's generally what I was trying to do. But that'll do it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.